Rings of Power Episode 5 is here. I watched it so you didn't have to. Where are we going with this series? So, this is the We Are Going to War episode. And lots of training montages. There's no characterization going on. And there's no real movement of these characters. We're at nearly at the end of this series. There are three, I think there's three episodes to go. And already, again, the pacing is weird. The pacing is improved in this episode. I will give it credit where credit's due. But watching the kind of story, lack thereof story unfold is bizarre. The foreshadowing of this series is bizarre as well. And I, I'm using the word bizarre because it, it's the only way I can describe it. You know, Elrond is struggling to stay true to his oath. The the Southland the Southlanders brace for a war. The problem is it never feels like it does anything. The Halffoots are surplus to background noise, which isn't good. And they're again trying to replicate the Peter Jackson films. Badly, which doesn't help matters. So, where does this episode fall down, and why does it fall down? First, again, characterization. These characters are not particularly fleshed out. Galadriel is strutting around with a sword and being angry. Elrond has become completely neutered. And the only good characters in it which ironically are the dwarves. I mean, despite the problems here, they're probably the best characters in the entire show. Really should have their own story. Do something original with them. That would I think that would have been cool. Like the dwarven princess. Like I I don't like her as an actress, but actually in this she's shining. She's still not talking that she's shining. And that's a genuinely good thing. The foreshadowing is clumsy, you know, visions of the waves destroying the city, and also the allegories are in full. There was an allegory in the previous episode with the elves taking our jobs, with the one elf there and completely misrepresenting it, but also the fact that now the orcs are basically the, the air quotes, colonizer, I hate that word, trope, and it's, and the it just doesn't flow. It doesn't fit together. And the stunted storytelling in this is here. It's not subtle. It doesn't create subtlety. It creates a weird vacuum where everything is like the uh, dream sequence in Twilight. You know, oh my God, Edward with fangs and a dark wolf and Jacob running around. It's like, oh, what are they? You know, you... It doesn't flow and it doesn't fit together because it's so blunt. In terms of cinema photography and all of that, this is again a mixed bag. The cinematography of this series is always bizarre and the CGI is always bizarre as well. I said this in one video, when it looks good, it looks really good. When it looks bad, oh my god, it looks terrible. There is no middle ground, and you can... I don't know what it is about this series that makes it look like there's about 20 different people all working with separate... Um, com all working separately and no emails going back and forth. The design is disjointed at best, and that is ultimately a problem. I also find, again, the overall cheapness of this series shines through some of the props and some of the armor literally looks like it was 3d printed on someone first using a 3d printer i also feel like i'm not watching lord of the rings in any way or tolkien's work i feel like i'm watching a D, &D cw show and i got a lot of hate for saying that some of the effects look very cw some of the cgi looks so artificial and bizarre it ends up just missing the mark and takes you out of what little there is to this series. This episode felt shallow and it felt like there was no real urgency to it, just foreshadowing. And that again, they're trying to keep this pace up that this show is slow burn. 
and I don't mean that in a good way, the pacing is all over the place. But I do wonder how they're going to do it, because fundamentally, this series changes the history of Middle-earth. There are certain events and characters that can't happen in the story, because this is the characterization, the story, everything written in the appendices, and the uh, Sumerian, and the Lord of the Rings, and the Hobbit. There's a lot of stuff now that can't happen, and there's also a grandfather paradox that's building. Also, why is Elrond gay? Like, is is this just me picking up on that, or is this an actual thing? Because that answers questions. I mean, ultimately, without any motivation for the characters, it just feels disjointed. And I feel like they're writing themselves into the hole that they're that I will admit Tolkien wrote himself into. He wrote himself into a hole with the eagle situation and didn't know how to get out of it. So we have talking eagles, which has always been the weirdest moment in Lord of the Rings. I don't know how they're going to fix this because it's so disjointed from any canon material that even this episode feels like a D&D session rather than actually telling a Middle Earth or the Realms of Middle Earth story. I wonder how they'll do it, and I wonder where they're going to go with it, because, again, they, certain events and characters can't happen, and the fact that they don't have the rights to certain events and characters also shows, so they made up characters to um, fill the void. I wonder how they will deal with it, because it just doesn't fit. There's no chronological connection. And I see a lot of people debating if this series is canon, and it's very much not, because it's already contradicting events that happen in the future. And this episode is a prime example of that. Was it better than the previous one? Yes. But that's not much to say. At the end of the day, a, a weak show that isn't going anywhere, that is stunted... And it's stunted by the people that made it. It's stunted by the showrunners. It's stunted by Bad Robot. It's actually got some good actors in it, but they're stunted by the writing. There is moments of pure embarrassment, and I don't know if this is meant to be a parody or not.